Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode... Third? Twelve? Twelve, I think. Thirteen? I don't know. Some episode of... I think it's thirteen, of Corvette. And in this episode, we are going to actually go reference the uh, movies here, because there's a reason for this. Uh, so if we go down here, down at the very bottom, or towards the very bottom, we have the Career Pro movies, and they are called Classic Street and Racing. So, as you can probably guess, those are the next three things that we are going to take care of, because uh, I've done the amateur career, so we shall do the pro career now. And it starts with the class, it goes to street, and then goes to racing, which should be fun. And we will see what all that means whenever we get there. But let's head on into the professional career. So we have C2, C5, and C5 once again. And it looks like we got uh, quite a few laps on most of our tracks here, five and then three for a couple. Uh, but I guess we'll start on the C2, the classic pro career, whatever the hell you want to call it. And we are going to be driving the Grand Sport, which is great because I used this as a thumbnail in the last episode, not knowing that it was going to be used in this episode. Uh, sure, we'll go ahead and use the custom two-tone red, and I've already seen the info for this. We do get more upgrades, which is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and I guess just take care of this. See how this goes. I don't think I've ever touched anything under the professional, uh, like career or ar uh, arcade mode in this game. So this is pretty much all new territory for me, even. So let's see how this goes. I don't expect it to be too crazy, but maybe the difficulty will be a little bit harder. Uh, maybe more like the amateur arcade, because it was surprisingly difficult. But let us see. Starting up with a banger of a song, which is great. And I'm already falling behind, which is a good start. Oh, they all just stopped. Good to know the AI still are not good at taking corners. They seem to be faster in a straight line, but around corners, not so much. But soon we will actually be 50% of the way through this game too, which is pretty exciting. I'm excited at least. I like archiving things. Even a uh, good friend of mine, we were talking about like, oh, I was just kind of talking about YouTube and stuff, and I was like, I just like archiving things. I like archiving the fact that I did in fact do everything in certain video games. It's like, why do I 100% things? Because, I don't know, it, it gives me the satisfaction that I wouldn't get if I didn't 100% them. Sure, there's been a decent amount of games that I have not 100%ed on this channel. Like, oh god, not doing the challenge series in Need for Speed Most Wanted, and then just other various things I did not 100% particularly, so... But, I don't know. I think there's usually a reason I don't 100% games if I don't 100% them. At least nowadays. Back when I first started doing this, especially on this channel. I mean, back when I first started, I, I didn't really 100% anything. I think I 100%ed Carbon. And that was pretty much it, like, before this channel was a thing. But, I don't know. I think I just get the happiness from basically archiving everything I can from these games. And that's why I like to use, like, different cars in each episode and so on and so forth. So basically, just nerd shit. I love nerd shit. I am a nerd. We have five laps on our first track here. And it looks like it's going to be decently easy. I will take it. Smooth sailing is very nice. I do like that this track looks like it's like a an oval that has an infield course, but it's not. It's supposed to be like normal roads that are just oddly placed, I guess? Would that be the right word? I don't know. And, uh, as you've probably seen, I will be alternating this with the other Let's Plays I have going as well now. 
I decided that I'm going to get back onto taking on Gran Turismo 7 because I like the game anyways and I don't know I want to I want to play it and of course also Borderlands every now and then the Borderlands let's play them currently up to be like once a week kind of thing I don't know I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want to do like video wise and how often and so on and so forth Trying not to overdo myself because I've done that many times in the past and I would prefer not to do it again. I will probably do it again at some point, but at least I'm thinking about it and trying to keep myself more organized nowadays. Nice time ahead there, by the way. I liked it. Alright, on to our final lap. And also, my 50th Let's Play on this channel is coming up soon. I do not know what it's going to be specifically. I have a few ideas, but I will not be saying anything until I actually decide on something and probably start uploading it. Uh, so, we'll, we'll see what it is. I kind of want it to be something kind of more special, maybe a longer game. So, I have a couple ideas, like I said. We shall see, to say the least. But for now, we play Corvette, and Carbon, and GT7, and Borderlands. There we go. There's our first race done. Not getting any upgrades, because our first upgrades come at 120 points, and I'll go ahead and get a thumbnail for this, why not? Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and continue on to our next race at City Heights West. And you know what? I want to use a green for this one because I'm using the exact same car so I might as well change the color. That was the thing about the arcade. I could just change the color or use more normal colors because I used basically all the custom colors in the career. Plus I was using different cars in each race. Not so much now. You don't get the freedom of choice anymore. Well, not for this section of the game at least. But let's see how this goes. Let's see if it's as easy as the previous race. Does this game have drafting physics? I believe it might. Oh jeez. Hello everybody, slowing down. Thank you for letting me pass. Much appreciated. Oh god. Careful. Screw off. The AI are better at this track than the previous one. I guess they are, at least. Oh shit. Uh, when I actually look, maybe I'll do that after I'm done recording this, or when I'm at the end of this recording to see how many tracks I've unlocked out of all of the tracks in quick race mode. So I bet not all of them have been unlocked yet, but we'll see, I guess. I am intrigued myself to see. And I am quite far ahead of the AI already. I'm still not going to switch difficulties. Basically, bring it on, motherfuckers. This game has already been shockingly long as well. I think I did the math and it's like six hours before this episode. Maybe longer. Maybe I didn't have all of them uploaded. I don't know, but I like to keep track of that kind of stuff because, I don't know, I'm a nerd, once again. I have like actually a spreadsheet of like all the Let's Plays I've done and how long the video runtime is on them. Because I'm intrigued by it, to say the least. It's not exactly a secret thing either, but I usually don't like link it out because it's not like super well made. It's just kind of a generic spreadsheet kind of thing. And it includes all my future ideas for Let's Plays. Can't just be sharing that with the whole world. 
But if maybe if some of you are curious, I might make a version that I can just leave in the comment section. I don't know. We'll see. They're not in the comments, but in the description of these videos. Carbon's actually took me a lot longer than I've expected so far, too. I'm up to like six and a half hours of game time on it, and I've barely dipped into the career. I mean, like a quarter of the way done with the career, I guess. Something like that. It is intriguing, to say the least. The track feels like it's a lot longer than a minute long. I guess it isn't, though. Oh, God. Terrible. We Gucci. Ah! Uh, uh. Why, why, why you do that? Why, why that happen? What do heck? Why you slippy slidey out of nowhere? I don't think I did anything crazy. I didn't like tap the brakes or left the gas or anything. I don't know. I'm so upset I don't have force feedback in this game. It'd be nice to have it. I guess I could actually go to options and make sure it's actually enabled. I have no idea. I think I did whenever I was setting things up. I just kind of load though now. I don't like look at any of the options. I still can't believe that nothing is like just generally safe for this game, like settings or anything. You have to like use the load function to get anything. Graphic settings, controller settings, anything like that. It's ridiculous. Exactly 105 on that one. Not too shabby. I know how far ahead I am. I have not paid attention recently. Oh, uh, jeez. Six point four. Understandable. I think the game basically won't let the AI get past like a certain time behind you. It seems because it seems like I get past them and get ahead of them real quick, but then it just kind of falls off. I don't get like much further ahead. I'm a seven oh five on that one, I guess. Like half a second. I don't know. <clears throat> Ow. Anyways, when are we chicken dinner? Very nice. And we get some upgrades. We get a super close ratio transmission, improved springs, and improved brakes. Improved. Don't know what that means, but whatever, I guess. Alright, on to High Plains Airbase West for our next race here. I'm gonna use the gold. I didn't think to look at what the uh, next upgrade points threshold was. Threshold? I think that's the word I was looking for. Something like that. see how this goes. I'm sure it's going to go probably about the same as the last two races, but I like to see it anyways. And we only have three laps, thankfully. On a longer track, for sure. Try to make it past some of these bitches. Oh, shit. Oh, poop. Oh, poop. We're good. I'm not good. Actually, I lied. Don't hit me. I'm pretty sure that would have hit me if I would have went to the left. Come on. Girl. Down the straightaway. Big fast. Hey. Nice color. Twinsies. Nah shit. I slowed down. The AI apparently did not did not want to. Did it pass me? Nah. Airplane made everything quiet. 
This actually isn't even the long version of this track. Why is it only... I don't know. I mean, it is over a minute, I guess, but... I don't know exactly why it's three laps instead of five, but whatever. It's not that much over a minute. It'll be like 115 for our first lap here. 115, 116, close enough. Oh god, ow. Oh shit. We Gucci, we Gucci. We aight. Hey, I are trying to stay a little closer on this track compared to the last two. But they still have no chance. Because I'm cool and they aren't. Airplane. <laughs> Well-timed airplane yet again. Wow, incredible. It's like, it's timed to do that whenever you're going through there like that. Wow. And... 110, roughly? Yeah, 111. Just under 111. I feel like I've not driven on this track this direction, so I might actually unlock this. Now that I think about it. That. Ow. Ow. Let's go! Airplane, doing the thing again. We gotta wait for the one that goes over our heads coming up here. Oh shit, we're good. Oh, boop. Right about, right about now. Wow, it's like it's time to do that. Incredible. Absolutely amazing, don't you know? That was an awful accent. I apologize. Maybe. But... The race is this number four? Three? I think it's just three. It's done though, that's all that matters. Big pog. And by ten seconds over last. Yeah, that was race three. So we have the titanium exhaust system from Lingenfelter. Stiffer sway bars and Mach 5 wheels. I think those are the wheels that they put on the Z or the, the C5 whenever I was in the regular career. Interesting, yes, we have, oh, we have six races. I didn't even realize that. Six, then four, then six, I guess. Odd. Anyways, on to Ghost Rock Mine Alternate West. And we'll use this crazy color. I didn't even look at the wheels. Ow, I hit my head on my microphone. But, let's see how this goes. Spoiler alert, it's probably gonna go in my favor. Just gonna guess, just gonna throw that out there, honestly. It very well may go in my favor. Oh, everybody's touching their brakes. Ah! What, am I getting punished for not just tapping my brakes 20,000 times before the first turn? What the hell? Her might seem a little faster now, I'm not sure. It seems definitely quick, but I think it's always been quick. Ah, ow. Go right through there. Ow. I am good at racing game, yes. I know when to turn. Ah, shit. It's funny, the last game I played actually before, I know I actually played Carbon last night after, but I played Gran Turismo 7 yesterday, so this is quite the uh, difference to say the least. 
Playing GT7, the Need for Speed Carbon, then Corvette. That is an interesting combination of physics that I've experienced in the last 24 hours. Scooper is scooping. Good turn. I like that. Four and a half seconds ahead. Again, only three laps, even though we're getting one minute roughly lap times. I don't know. I don't understand it, to be honest with you. There are many interesting uh, design choices in this game that seem to have no rhyme or reason. Hey, 59.19, let's go, it's sub one. Uh, careful. I am now eight seconds ahead. That was dramatic. Ah, ow. And I got a sub fifty nine. Nope. I almost I actually almost got a minute again. But there we go. Race four of six has been completed. Very nice. We got one more race before we get more upgrades. But Angel Hills West. It's our second to last race here. And we'll go with you know, we'll go with the purple this time. And let's see how this race goes. Banger. Always a banger. I love music. I love lots of different kinds of music and different styles and different sounds. I don't like everything per se, but anything that literally was like gives my brain the yes, this is pretty good feeling, then I, I enjoy it. I don't care if it's like popular or not popular or dumb lyrics or whatever. Alright, can I pass all of you please? Ow, I did that to myself. I know what I'm doing, yes. Ow. I don't know why I said ow when I slid, but I sure did. Huh. Ow. <laughs> oh, jeebus. Okay, we're good. Ow. Why is everything hurt? My everything hurts. Blimp! 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 I love Goodyear. I love Blimp. I am finally in first place. Maybe. Not long, though. Yeah, I stayed in first place. <laughs> Nerds. Careful through here, because this is an awkward turn. I know this turn coming from the other direction. New lap record! I don't think I've driven on this track going this direction either, to be honest with you. It seems very unfamiliar. I actually don't even know. I don't think I unlocked the track the last time, but maybe I did. I don't know. The last time I said that I hadn't... I didn't remember it. I have no idea. Oh god. Turned a little too hard there. It's fine. Everything's good. Blimp! Blimpy! I love blimp! Blimps are actually fog, honestly. Nobody can tell me otherwise.
I have a microphone way too close to my face and I keep hitting my forehead on it. I'm good at this whole video recording thing, I swear. Hey, it's sub 110, let's go. And this is now minute and 10 laps and I'm doing five laps again. Why? Why though? I don't, I don't get it. It don't make no sense. Again, 20 year old racing game, low budget. I, I don't expect it to make that much sense, I guess. I want to ask questions, but I know I can't. My curiosity gets the best of me sometimes. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Not quite how I want to do that, but it worked. Oh, God. Ow. Five seconds ahead. Come on, new best lap. I think it's definitely going to be a 108, just over 108. Let's go. Not too shabby. Five and a half seconds ahead of second place. Oh, I finally made it around the turn without hitting the wall for once. For the first time. Blimp! Look at the textures on it, they're so scuffed. I love it. It's a good blimp. Ow. I was too busy thinking about blimp. My brain is blimp. It's entered blimp mode. I want to drive a blimp. Isn't there video games you can drive blimps in? I guess Grand Theft Auto you can. I think GTA 5 has a blimp you can drive. I don't know. I mean, I have a RC plane simulator that has a blimp in it, I think. As well as the required controller for that, too. Maybe I'll play that someday. I doubt it, because there's no progression to it. But maybe if I ever feel like live streaming again in my life, I will play that. I'm curious, it's real flight G3.5. Not G3, but G3.5. I don't know if that means anything, but that's what it is. I think it's from like 2006 or something, or 2005. I think it still works though. I'm pretty sure I, I had it working on Windows 10 a while ago. I don't know. Oh, good split time again. Let's go. I like it. Oh geez. Oh god. Can I be done with this race finally? Not the biggest fan of this track. Probably one of my less favorite tracks of the entire game. Oh shit, I got a 117 I think on that. It might have been right at 118, I'm not sure. But anyways, there's all that. We got Custom camshaft, lowered suspension, and super soft slicks. Wow. Very cool. And on to our final race at Smoke Creek West, which is funny because we it doesn't look like it's going to be a... Uh, not a one-on-one, -on -one, surprisingly. Um, I'm going to use... You know what? I'm going to use the copper, I guess. Let's take this on. Final race of our first section of the pro career. Closed? Why is it closed? That sucks. I love windmills. <laughs> yeah, that speed limit sign actually looks spot on. Usually games do not get speed limit signs right for some reason, but that one actually looks leg legitimately exactly how speed limit signs look. Like, proportioned correctly and everything. Look at me being a fucking nerd. I know, it's a big surprise. God, get out of the way, please. You are still in front of me and still going to be in my way. I'm disappointed. I hate it here. Oh, you're you're in my way now. Please. I want to live. I want to continue existing. Oh my lord. Screw off! Oh shit. Ow. 
Why is there always one more card colored or the exact same color as my card? Can't you pick another custom color? There's like 20. Why do you have to be the same one as me? Why do you have to be in first place? No, doppelganger. You are not going to pretend to be me and win. That's not how this works. You are AI. I am not. This also doesn't feel familiar going this direction. But maybe it is. I don't know. Shorter track. And I'm finally in first. I can actually just go moderately quickly and be way ahead of the AI. Hooray! Oh shit. Airbolt. Oh. Ah. That one is spooky. Wheels come off the ground. Can't steer. Cloudy. Look at the skybox. It's like got a big circle in the middle of it where there's just nothing above me. You can see it right there. And then the clouds start. I guess they didn't want to make an entire skybox work, so they just made like the outskirts of the skybox work. That's pretty funny, actually. Why are you existing near me? Not a fan of this, honestly. So, 53 seconds. Oh, shit. I also suck at this track, apparently. I hit my head on my microphone again, by the way. It's very nice. Very cool and good. Why are we not in second gear? The shifting is a little bit lazy in this game. If you try and shift too fast, uh, twice, I should say, in a row or more, you will not get the amount of shifts that you want. You have to, like, pace it a little bit. You can't just go bang, bang. You have to be like, bang, bang, and then it'll shift down two gears. Like, I just tried to do it again, and I had to press the fucking X button an extra time. Fucking silly. Well, almost sub 50. 51, 54. Let's see if I can beat that. Let's see if I can beat a 50 second lap. Because that one wasn't really that good. But apparently it was better. <clears throat> oh, hello. Throat, how are you doing? Ah ha ha! I'm not gonna get a sub 50 in this lap. I love it. <clears throat> Why does my throat itchy? Why does talking hurt? It doesn't really hurt, it just, I mean, it does hurt if you do it long enough, I guess. Actually, that was a better lap, what the fuck, 50-77. I do have a chance of getting a sub-50. I don't think I'm going to do it, though. Unless I do this corner really well for once. Ooh, ooh, alright. Okay. This may happen. Go! No! I want to do the big fest. to return the monkey. Let me return to monkey. Oh yeah, easy clap. Fucking 48 second lap. Let's go. Not too shabby. Almost 420. Damn. And there we go. We got our little animation here for completing our first section of uh, the pro career. I actually forgot that was the last race until it happened. And... Is this the whole video? It is the whole video. Okay. Interesting. But there we go. We have won all the professional career... Uh, classic. Races. Got our trophy. Car is fully upgraded, of course. Got first place on all of our races. And there we go. So I guess next we will head on to the modern... Open road. What does that mean? Uh, but anyways... We will go ahead and save. Make sure I do that. There's a solid 44.6%. I don't think that doing the extra save is helping me still, but whatever. And of course, our trophies. All the career races. There's a lot of there's a lot more trophies in here. 
So, there's that, and of course our videos. We're just missing a lot of that. But, I guess that will be it for this episode. Actually, before we go... So we still need two tracks. It's open road. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's like an alternate version. It says, I guess it is an alternate version because it's east and west still. I still have not done 2500 speedway the other direction. Forest Drive is also blocked off and Tumbleweed Flats. So it looks like all the open road uh, tracks are still locked for whatever reason. Huh. Anyways, that is going to conclude this episode of Corvette. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.